Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here. Alain, Raquel, Kayla, thank you. Thank you so much for giving us the, um, the okay to do this special memorial for Alex. To the city councilors that are here, Councilor Berku, Councilor Cohen, Councilor Erdely, Councilor Oren Sabag, Councilor Schuster, Councilor Ben Isri, and to the dignitaries that are going to be speaking today, we have uh, the Consul General, Paul Hershon. I'll be speaking, uh, reading Anthony House Father's speech as he's uh, out of town uh, in Vancouver uh, at caucus. Elizabeth Pras, Rabbi Pupko, Federation President Yair Zlak, and to close the event will be Hazan Dani Ben Lolo, singing Hatikva and O Canada. So we're here today to inaugurate this green space behind us between Chabad and Bialik, a place of learning, a place of study and religion where Alex frequented. And this space where some of his friends told me yesterday when I attended the services for the end of the 11 month mourning period that they spent time at this space with Alex. He was a Code St. Luker. My wife and I were blessed to meet Raquel and Alan during probably one of the joyous, most joyous time in a young couple's life when we attended prenatal classes expecting our firstborns. And my son was born seven weeks before Alex. And we spent many good times in this city together at parks, at music class, at Park Haven Pool. This was the home for Alex, particularly in all those formative years. And it's very touching and very personal to me and for all those who knew him and those who came to know him over the last 11 months, I know it's very personal to you. So as I said, today, today is the, uh, the day after the 11 month of mourning and tomorrow will be Alex's 34th birthday. So here we are, Alex was at the Super Music, Supernova Music Festival in the Negev Desert on October 7th. When, re when terrorists attack, and he was in a bunker, and there'll be lots of stories and more details, so I'll leave that for the other speakers, and I will give my personal remarks later. But je veux, je veux dire certainement que la ville de Côte Saint-Luc a la corde brisée par la perte d'Alex et des autres vies innocentes perdues lors de cette journée tragique. So I am going to uh, give the first speaker, which is uh, the Consul General of Paul Hershon, to uh, start with his words. Thank you. Thank you. Alan, Raquel, Kayla, so many others here, members of the consulate that I see, Yair, others. I actually am perhaps one of the few people here who, who did not know Alex, but I did get to know him through some long conversations with you, Raquel and, and Alan. I remember 11 months ago, I said to you, we would bring him home. The truth is, to be fair, I think it was more the Federation CJA who brought him home. But we brought him home, all of us. <coughs> it's an ambiguous time where at the same time we are prosecuting a war and we are trying to secure the release of, of hostages. It's an ambiguous time where we mourn Alex and celebrate him at the same time. Um, here is a place in between his school and his congregation where he will be both mourned and celebrated for a long, long, long time. So 
I learned this past Shabbat, it was uh, Parashat Shoftim, that amongst other things, there is a prohibition on uh, fortune telling. So I can't tell you what will be, but I can tell you what won't be. What won't be is that we're not going to capitulate, we're not going to walk away, we're not going to be scared, we're not going to stop both mourning and celebrating Alex, Alexandre Luc and his memory and the rest of our family members, um, the wider family who were hurt. Just thank you to Coates and Luc and the whole community here for having dedicated this space and thank you everybody for having embraced me into your community. I'm now going to read comments from uh, Member of Parliament Anthony Ho's father. Code St. Luke is a family to 35,000 people. Montreal's Jewish community is a family of almost 100,000 people. In each case, we care for one another, support one another, love one another. Raquel, Alain, and Kayla, you are part of both of these families. Alex was part of both of these families. I never write speeches. I always feel that the emotion in words flow much better when you speak from the heart as opposed to reading words. I'm so sorry that I'm at caucus meeting in British Columbia today, but I hope that my love and admiration for Alex and his family and friends comes through. Raquel and Alain, your son was a hero. You know that already, but it deserves to be repeated. When he, along with 1,200 others, was murdered, by the Hamas terrorists last October 7th, he was doing what he always did, putting others first, shielding them with his own body, saving lives. This incredible sacrifice deserves to be honored. Cote St. Luke is not just naming this place after him because he was a local family member and one of eight Canadians murdered in a terrorist attack. Cote St. Luke is naming this place after him because he was a hero. And every man, woman, and child in this city should know who he was and what he stood for. For that same reason, I have discussed it with Mitch and obtained Raquel's permission. And Mitch and I will be nominating Alex for a federal medal for his bravery. as his actions deserve to be recognized beyond just the city of Cote St. Luke and our local community. I could say a lot about the need to support our democratic ally Israel and the need to honor Alex's legacy by combating anti-Semitism here in Canada and across the world, but today should be about Alex, not about the larger issues. So let's all commit ourselves to carrying on Alex's legacy by caring for others, including those we do not know by protecting people, by tikkum alam, by being the best people we can be. Alexander Look Place will remind us all of these things every time we pass by. From Anthony Ho's father. So before I pass the mic to uh, Liz Prass, once I'm already up here again, I would just like to say that uh, you know, Alain and Raquel were very special friends right from the beginning of Alex's life. And as much fun that we had with Alex, it was always watching him being courageous, being having fun, always ready to run and have no fear. He was power and strength. That was Alex. He was power and strength. I remember a time... It was, we we're having a Shabbat dinner and my son Matthew, who is four years younger than Alex, told us a story about something that happened at, park, at Trudeau Park. He said that he was at the park and some kids were picking on him. And Alex looked out of nowhere, four years older than Matthew, showed up and said to these kids, you don't do that. And they stopped because that was Alex. Alex said, you don't do that, you don't do that. That's what he always was. He was always that guy, and he was that guy until the last moment. I was watching movies today that I filmed on uh, Andrew's third birthday, my son Andrew, 
Halleck's there, inquisitive, asking. I was reading a story about Pinocchio, and he was asking all kinds of questions and very engaged. He was the life of the party. He was always the life of the party, whether he was three years old or 33 years old. The life of the party and always interested in taking care of others. We hope that this place is a place where you, Kayla, can feel that your brother is watching over you. Where you and Alain, Alain and Raquel, can get connected every day. Whenever you're here for services, you can drop by and Remember the, the, the good memories and the wonderful person that Alex was. This is a place to feel connected for all of us, where we have to stand strong and hope for peace and security without fear. May this small token, Alain Raquel, help you create a physical place where you and friends and family could come to remember all the good Alex has done, and he will continue to inspire you from above. Alexander Luck will forever be remembered in Cote St. Luke and beyond as an inspiration for others. And as we, we've often said over these last 11 months, we wish he wasn't so brave, but that was Alex. I know Elizabeth Pras, you're right here, right in front of me. Yeah. I'd like to think that this sun that is shining down so warmly on us today is a sign of Alex looking down on all of us and just being happy that we're all here to celebrate his life. The date of October 7th will forever be burned in our minds and so will the tragic news of the loss of one of our own from Cote St. Luke from Montreal, Alexander Luke. As a community, we collectively mourn his loss as one of our own. Like so many of you on October 7th, the first thing I did was reach out to my family in Israel to make sure that they were safe. However, in Montreal, two parents in our own backyard received the heartbreaking news that their son's heroic gesture was the end of his life. Those lives that Alexander saved by giving his own as a human shield that act of selflessness is a demonstration of the values that his parents raised him with and the values that we have within the Jewish religion, that we put ourselves at the price of others. Alexander Luke was amongst the thousands celebrating at the Nova Music Festival, an opportunity for people to live their life to the fullest. And from what I hear and understand, it's exactly the representation of who Alexander was. Every moment was to live to its fullest, to enjoy life and everything it had to offer. When Hamas arrived that morning, the music stood still, and the music continues to stand still. What he did was to help, was to save other lives, and 360 lives were lost that day, and 40 members of the music goers were kidnapped. We will never forget the sacrifices, the brave sacrifice that he made. We will never forget that those at the Nova wanted to dance in peace, and instead they were slaughtered. The aftermath of this tragedy will echo in our community forever. And Alexander's parents have been the image of bravery and strength. As a parent myself, I have so much admiration for the way that they've handled this tragedy and the grace in which they speak of Alex. I had the honor of meeting them for Alex's Shiva and the way that they spoke to him brought him to life and I felt like I had known him myself. While there are no words I can offer to the family to comfort them, Alexander will always be remembered as a courageous hero who made the ultimate sacrifice. He will live on in his example of the best that our community has to offer and a beacon of bravery. Along with Alexander, we must remember that all those that perished that day and remain in captivity. We have a responsibility towards all of them never to get, forget what happened that day and to never let anything like that happen again. This place will be an eternal reminder of Alexander's life his heroic sacrifice. And I think it's perfect that it be between a school and his shul so that young people can walk by and if they don't know him, they'll see his name and they'll ask who he was and we will continually remind them of everything that he did and he gave to our community. I'm Israel Chai.
Rabbi Pupko. Rabbi Pupko. Mr. Mayor, the City Council, especially uh, Alan and Raquel and Kayla and the Consul General. You know, uh, we have a wonderful Consul General, and I've been with Consuls General in the past when they've had to uh, perform their worst and most onerous responsibility, which is to inform families in Montreal about a death in Israel. And it's a task that doesn't garner uh, much publicity or renown. But, uh, Paul, it's an arduous task, and you handle it with grace and elegance and, and dignity. And, and, Paul, I want to thank you for reminding us of something. You mentioned how Yair's lack uh, made sure that the right things were done that week. And uh, I have to tell you, we are blessed with uh, leaders in this community, the likes of which I've never seen before or, or experienced. Uh, they deal with the big issues, really important issues, and they do extraordinary work. But uh, Yair is uh, one of the few people who sees the big picture and every individual at the same time. And what he did for the Look family in the days after uh, the murder of Alex was really remarkable. And we're lucky to have people like Yair Zlack, uh in this community. Uh, you know, it's not the first time we've lost a, a Montrealer protecting Jews in Israel. We lost in, we lost Jews in, in the Independence War. I remember very well Yoshua Friedberg. Alex was not the first sacrifice that this community has made in defense of the state of Israel, nor was he the last. We've lost others this year. Uh, but Alex's story... Those who didn't know Alex and love him before have fallen in love with him after because that smile, that incredible smile of his, and you talk to his friends and how they speak of him, the joy he, he brought, the exuberance of his life, the passion of his life. And with his death, he brought life. He saved others. A heroic, heroic act. He died giving life. He died for his fellow Jews. He sacrificed for his fellow Jews. And I'll say it again. He gave up his life for his fellow Jews because we are here as one people. We're here not just as one people. We're here as one family. And to, uh, to the entire family, you're not alone. You're not alone. You have a very big family that will always be with you. I've stood with you on other occasions and other moments in Montreal and in elsewhere. You're not alone. All of us share your heartbreak. All of us mourn uh, together with you. Uh, the sacrifice Alex made is something that is, is an inspiration to everyone of what we have to do, of what we have to be willing to sacrifice for the Jewish people and for Jewish unity. And... Uh, and Alex showed all of that. You know, it's uh, we live in a great community, and uh, our lives have all been changed since uh, October the 7th when two wars were launched against us, one in Israel and one against Jewish life around the world. It's a war that, uh, that tragically continues. But all of us here are energized by the memory of Alex. So much has, done, has been done in Alex's memory since his passing, since his murder. Sifrei Torah, Torah scrolls have been dedicated in his memory by his family uh, and by friends who spontaneously got together to scramble for ways to remember Alex. Two Sifrei Torah, two Torah scrolls being written in, in his honor. Event, it's, it's volunteer shelters have been built in Israel in his memory. But the most important memorial to Alex is how we all behave and how we are inspired by his sacrifice and by what we are willing to do for the Jewish people. That's the greatest living memorial. Alex was our, was our child. He was the child of this community, is the child of each and every one of us. And we revere his memory, and he will not be forgotten. And his bravery bears eloquent testimony to how he was raised by his beautiful family and the values that they imparted to him. He died giving life. 
He died saving lives. He died in defense of Jewish honor and Jewish dignity. He died al Kiddush Hashem. He died in the sanctification of God's name. Federation President CJ of CJA, Yair Slack, and then we'll, we'll hear from Raquel. Thank you, Mitch. And uh, Rabbi, I'll just correct one thing because it's it takes a village. And when we heard of uh, Alex going missing, um, it was a village that went to look for him. Uh, and it was a many of our staff at Federation who cared so deeply to do so and to make sure that he would come home. Um, and he came home. Just about um, a few months ago, I was actually right here at JPPS. I was asked by the school to come talk about Alex. Um, and I was asked because not only is it important to talk about how tra tragic his death was, but how amazing his life was. And I think when we sit here as a people, and I can say this for myself, we still haven't had a chance to mourn what's happened since October 7th. We're in the middle of what's going on to our people, whether it's here at home, whether it's in Israel, and there's no closure. But our ability to take the good, which Alex wanted us to do, and make that his memory. In May, I was in Israel with a group of our community members and we're able to put a plaque on one of the Migunim, Miguniot, one of the shelters that we built in his honor. Because that particular one was set, set up beside a bus shelter. A, sorry, a bus stop. So that children, when they got off the bus in God forbid situation, they could run to a shelter. I will share something that Raquel shared with me that evening before we went to bury him. And she said to me that in a conversation that you had with Alex while he was in Israel, he said, Mom, I made a decision to marry a Jewish woman. Do you remember that? And I think what we need to remember is that Alex was one us to celebrate our Jewish life. We're facing unprecedented times, anti-Semitism, Days which we all are not sure how to handle. But Alex gives us the light. Let's celebrate our Jewish life. Never cower. Never stand down. Yesterday, close to 25,000 Montreal Jews celebrated Jewish life on the day of his year. It's not by happenstance. Let us continue to do so, so that we remember the good that he brought to the world and not the tragic way in which he left our world. Ami Sa'il Chai. Raquel's going to speak next, but before she does, we're going to unveil the plaque, so I'd call the members of council, all those who have spoken to join us as we unveil the plaque. Ladies and gentlemen, today we gather here in Côte St. Luke to dedicate this green space in the memory of our brave, brilliant, beautiful son, Alexandre Luc. This is a place that holds profound significance to our family and our community. Nestled between the Bet Chabad Synagogue and Bialik High School. This park represents more than just a green space. It symbolizes the enduring strength and resilience of our Jewish heritage. Le 7 octobre, cette date fatidique que nous n'oublierons jamais, Alex s'est levé sans 
hésitation pour défendre des personnes qu'il connaissait à peine. Il a donné sa vie, portée par ses convictions, et il a sauvé celle des autres. Here, in Alexandre Look Place, his name will be anchored between a place of faith and a center of learning and Jewish values, wisdom, and education. This space stands as a testament to our unwavering spirit, a powerful reminder to the world that despite all the challenges we face, we will never be destroyed. This park in the very community where Alex grew up next to the shul that our family attended, where we spent so many Shabbats when Alex and Kayla were little, whose rabbi, Rabbi Raskin and Sarah Raskin, embraced our family next to the school that Alex attended, the school in which I taught preschoolers in for over 10 years. This place that will bear Alex's name will serve as a beacon of hope and remembrance. Je ne peux imaginer de meilleur endroit que celui-ci pour honorer le souvenir d'Alex. Car ici, des Brit Mila célébreront des naissances, des Chupas accueilleront des jeunes mariés, et des dizaines de milliers d'élèves recevront une éducation qui changera leur vie. This space adjacent to Alex's high school and shul will not only preserve his memory, but inform future generations about his heroic acts of selflessness. The plaque that is affixed here, telling the story of who Alex was and the courage he displayed, qualities that are deeply rooted in the values of our synagogue and our school. This place will also serve as a place for reflection, a sanctuary where we can honor Alex's memory and the values he stood for. Ce sera un lieu pour se souvenir de tous les anges du Festival Nova, de tous les kibbutzniks, de tous les, les otages qui ont perdu la vie en captivité, trop d'innocents qui ont perdu la vie en ce jour tragique. Un lieu pour se rassembler et commémorer. Nous avons le devoir de faire perdurer son héritage. Nous devons veiller à ce que ces sacrifices, leurs noms et leurs souvenirs ne soient jamais oubliés, pour que l'essence d'Alex continue de nous inspirer. As a mother, I am humbled by the opportunity to stand before you today. The day before, what would have been Alex's 34th birthday, For the first time, we won't be FaceTiming at the crack of midnight to wish him a happy birthday, as we did last year when he was doing what he does best, surrounded by all his friends in Israel, partying and dancing like there was no tomorrow. But we will be celebrating his life now, tomorrow, and forever. And we know that he is with us, giving Alain, Kayla, and I the strength to go on. Together, let us honor Alex's memory by rededicating ourselves to the pursuit of peace and repairing the world, by standing firm against hatred, anti-Semitism, and violence, and by being loud and proud and by striving to build a world where future generations can live free from conflict. I offer my profound thanks to the city of Cote St. Luc, Bibi, Tanya, Daryl, Regine, you all put your hearts into this project. And to our dear, dear friends, Mayor Mitchell Brown, Steen, and Elaine, who we met through Alex, as Mitch told you at the, Well, they were expecting their firstborn, Andrew, in prenatal classes right here in Cavendish Mall at the CLSC. We later strolled our babies through the streets of Cote St. Luke, went to music classes in the library of Cote St. Luke, 
And I believe Alex brought us back, guided us back to Côte Saint-Luc and back with Elaine and Mitch. I'd like to thank Councillor Mike Cohen for suggesting this space in his district. I thank our family from here and abroad who have traveled every step of this horrible nightmare to be with us. Their support and love meant everything. We love you all. We thank our friends who surrounded us with love when we needed it and gave us the space we needed when we needed it, but never gave up. If I didn't answer one day, maybe I'd answer the next. And they soon understood that even though we'd been friends for 40 years, I was not going to be the same Raquel ever again. And we found a new way to navigate in this new reality. We love you. And I want to thank Alex's friends, more like brothers, who have grieved with us, done countless things to honor his memory, mitzvot all over the world. And we miss you, Ilan. Many have traveled here from all corners of the world to be with us today. And I would also like to thank all of you, our Montreal Jewish community, for the support and love they have shown us during this indescribable year. Alain, Kayla, and moi-même sont extrêmement reconnaissants envers le, le rabbin Shriki du Centre Abad, qui nous a supportés durant les moments les plus agonisants de ce cauchemar. Alors que j'étais en choc, en colère, inconsolable, il a démontré une patience inouïe. To Chabad of Westmount, Rabbi Yossi Shanowitz, his wife Devora, Rabbi Ariel Stern, his wife Mushki, who from day one mobilized the community, began a meal train for us, and have done countless events honoring our Alex, from Hanukkah lightings to challah bakes, and the list goes on. To Rabbi Moshe Krasnansky and his wife Dina from Chabad of the town. We met when they invited us to meet with the Lapidot family, who also lost their angel to Ferret at the Nova Festival. Ever since, our connection has been so strong to Rabbi Shire and Rabbi Avi from Mishar, whose comforting words of wisdom and compassion were so very appreciated. And of course, to Rabbi Raskin and Mrs. Sarah Raskin of Beth Chabad of Kot St. Luke, who have welcomed us back home where we belong. And I kid you not, there were many Shabbats where all these wonderful rabbis would arrive from all different directions with a challah in hand. These challahs represented so much more than challah to us. It was love, warmth, connection, all wrapped up so beautifully. A special thanks to Anthony Housefather for fighting anti-Semitism, for being so brave and not letting the hate and insanity around him silence him. Thank you to, uh, to Council Paul Hershon and Vice Council Shul Shulamit Shurki. And lastly, I owe a profound thank you to Federation CJA, who helped us with everything from getting him home, organizing missions to Israel, and honoring Alex both at the shelter, at the Nova site, building the shelters. There's not a word big enough to thank Yair and Natu. We are very so fortunate to have such dedicated, compassionate people at the helm of Federation, along with Steve Savag, fighting for us every day. Yehyeh zicham baruch. B'sha korban shikrivu, yehave hashra'a avurenu, lishof leatid bahir yoter. May the memory of my Alexandre and all those precious souls who we lost that day be a blessing. And may his sacrifice and their memories inspire us to strive for a better tomorrow. Am Israel Chai.
So I'm going to call up Cantor Hazan to close the event, but I also first do want to thank all the rabbis that are here. You heard the inspiration you've given the Look family, those that are here and those that have, are not here today, and how helpful you've been at this very difficult moment. So thank you all. Um, Councilor Azarad, you're here. I want to recognize you. I didn't before. Former Mayor Robert Libman, thank you for being with us. And now, um, Cantor Hazan. And please rise. What did you say? What did I call you? I don't know. What did you call me? I called Cantor Hazan. Cantor Hazan Ben Lolo. <laughs> Too many titles. El Maler Kedoshim utehorim Kezohar harakiya Mazhirim umeirim Et nishema Abraham ben Chaim Shehalach le'olamo Began Eden tehem enuchato Lachen ba'al rachamim Astirehu beseter kenafecha le'olamim Veyitzeror, bitzeror hachayim et nishmato. Adonai unachalato, veyanuach beshalom al mishkavo. Venomar Amen. Now the national anthems. Oh, Canada, terre de nos aïeux, ton front est saint de fleurs glorieux, with glowing hearts we see the rise. The true north is strong and free from far and wide. O Canada, we stand on God for thee. 
God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Penima Nefesh Yehudi O Mia Ulfat Mizrach Kadima Ayn Letzion Sophia, od lo avda tikvatenu, ha tikvabad shnot alpayim li amchoshi be. Eretzion Eretzion So thank you all. I just want to say one thank you also to former Councillor Glenn Nashen, who's been a great help at Federation with the looks uh, throughout as well. So I want to thank you, Glenn, and thank you, uh, Leon Alfassi, Councillor from Hampstead, for being here. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you.